top of the morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for April 28th, 2021. Well, my goodness, yesterday we had kind of a mixed bag of results. Um, I had mentioned yesterday that we could be largely choppy, and that's kind of what happened after the morning rush. We just kind of drifted along sideways in the markets and then we hit those big tech earnings reports after the bell interestingly enough we saw google surge big time in that move but then we saw microsoft amgen texas instruments all move lower so kind of a mixed bag of results so what does that mean for today well how about we Grab ourselves something to drink, let's settle in, buckle up, and let's take a look at these technicals and these charts and see if we can get any information on how we might want to approach the market for today. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. Let's take a look at these charts. Now, clearly we have an interesting situation here in the market with a lot of data still coming our way today. We have nearly 200 companies on the economic or on the earnings calendar expected to report today. And after the bell, we have some doozies. We have Facebook and Apple that will be reporting. And if that were all that we had to deal with, that would be something. But we also have a big um, economic calendar day with the FOMC planning to um, issue its announcement on interest rates. And we have the president addressing a joint um, session of Congress today to roll out another massive spending plan of nearly $2 trillion. So we've got a full plate to digest and let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain any information about how we might want to approach the market for today. First off, if we take a look at trend here in the chart, notice that we're starting right now, we're starting to drift beyond this trend as we consolidate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back this up and grab this trend in here and notice that we could drift out into this direction here on this trend now it's a good sign i think that we have been resting um, in this market we have certainly needed a bit of a rest we are overextended um, in these indexes uh, tremendously if we take a look at uh, moving averages we are really um, quite a ways extended away from our longer term averages but um, we continue to hold up in this very very bullish condition of the market there seems to be no price too high that folks are willing to pay for stocks but doggone it but we're also seeing a little bit of well hesitation now um, and some of um, the big players out there, can they produce earnings um, strong enough to warrant some of these prices? So we have some price support right here in the chart. I've got to give this up to the bulls. This is a bullish, bullish chart. But I want to continue to note that possibility that we could either drift sideways or if we happen to find a reason to stumble south. Those could be some big point moves. So you don't want to be complacent here. You don't want to over trade just thinking that the market will never ever fall because there will be a point when it does. And I'm afraid it could be rather dramatic if that were to occur. Now take a look if we can find that reason for bullishness in these um, earnings reports, we could pop on through here easy, easily and see new record highs. And the longer we rest in this pattern, I think the better case the bulls have have to have that support level to bounce um, higher from so watch that closely and then if we take a look at the spy spy i still believe remains very vulnerable um, in its price action here if we take a look at this trend we are whoops this darn thing we are extremely extended Overall, I seem to be having a problem with my mouse here this morning. Um, we seem to be extremely extended um, in this move. And you notice how I drew that trend. I really meant it to be over here. Um, pretty extended in this chart. And 
It is a, a, a positive thing that we are holding on or we're trying to develop this level of price support in here. And we've been really working hard to try and lift on higher here in the SPY. But let's keep in mind that because we are so extended here that we could drift sideways here for quite a period of time. I also want to um, remind everyone just how big these price action candles here are. And if we were to stumble, just a pullback to here could be a very, very painful move um, in the market. So just keep that in mind. You don't want to become complacent or over trade this market. Now, that being said, if we can get enough energy in these earnings reports to show that bullishness, we could easily pop on through, see those new record highs being created in the chart and have a nice little platform to be working from. So the longer we rest here, I think the better case that the bulls have for uh, more upside. But just watch very closely because if we do stumble, that move lower could be pretty pretty sharp and pretty painful. Let's take a look at the Qs, QQQ. Also showing a nice little rest and consolidation here and we have been holding onto this level nicely. Um, albeit pretty darn choppy in here, um, we're continuing to hang in. Now, there is that concern that we still haven't been able to break out here. And if we look at our trend, our trend is also very extended away um, from current trend uh, levels. And that means that we have that possibility that we could rest in here or we could actually see a stumble and we could fall back into this area. And that would be a pretty painful pullback if that were to occur. However, if Facebook and Apple can do better jobs than, um, well, a better job than Microsoft, maybe we push on through to the upside. Certainly Google is going to provide um, quite a bit of upside, but Amgen, Texas Instruments, some of those are going to be making um, a press for the downside move. And you can see we're indicating just a slight, slight bit lower here this morning at the open as we kind of have this mixed bag of results here um, in our futures uh, prices. And then if we take a look at IWM, now IWM did a really good job yesterday just continuing to grind higher here. We saw some pretty good results in financials and energy stocks trying to continue to lift up. Let's notice we have these higher lows in that chart and it is a good sign that we broke back above this resistance level in the chart. So any rest or pullback in here really sets up that opportunity for more upside in the chart. We do have to recognize we have price resistance here that we um, will still have to deal with. But a rest or pullback could be a nice little move in the chart. What we don't want to see, we don't want to see this breaking back down below that, unable to hold that level of price support. That adds more weight to this resistance level if we were to fail and could provide a little bit more of a problem for the market. Now, keep in mind, if we can get those um, uh, good earnings and those good vibes coming through um, in these earnings reports and the FOMC, we could push right on through and maybe start looking at IWM coming in. So we're, we're right at that cusp where all of our indexes have that opportunity to really push higher. If we can gain enough energy in these earnings reports and what the FOMC has to say, if we happen to find a reason to stumble, we could see a rather painful pullback. Let's take a look at the VIX. Um, the VIX, has been consolidating as well, and it's been consolidating above a low level. Um, notice that we had these lows right in here. And although we're pushing back up in the market, um, our VIX isn't dropping. So we're kind of consolidating in a range. We're, we're definitely um, in a good situation being below that 20 handle, and we're continuing to try and build out this downtrend in this chart. What we need to see, if we're going to be bullish, we need to see this starting to break down and hitting some new lows. We don't want to see 
this popping back through that downtrend and what would be even worse is breaking up through that resistance level there and holding so let's get this um let's get these bulls working here if we're going to do it and start seeing that vix tail off to the downside so just watch that closely we're at that at that place where we could kind of go either direction really quickly then let's take a look at our t2122 and this one gives me probably the biggest heartburn right now um, in the market and that is we are overextended in our t2122 indicator it's telling us that we should be pulling back or could be pulling back at any time not should but could be pulling back at any time and so watching this closely i want to be prepared i don't want to be complacent and i don't want to be over trading to the long side just in case we do get that stumble and we start to pull back in uh, that t2122 so watch that closely now also keep in mind that if we can find the inspiration in these earnings we have pulled back just enough that we could certainly see that market surge higher if we can get um, a good round of earnings reports but just note that that might be limited on uh, um, that upside um, possibility and that if we happen to push too hard too fast then the stumble stumble or the push lower could be a lot more intense so watch that closely we don't want to become complacent here then let's take a look at our t2101 it was a good sign yesterday that we saw t2101 rallying a bit but i gotta tell you um overall our market breadth is is not impressing me and um as we continue to see that market breadth um declining and 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 getting lighter and weaker it is a little bit of a concern as we continue to press and press and press these markets to higher and higher numbers so watch that carefully now let's take a look at our economic calendar for today and our economic calendar we do have some things on here that obviously are going to be important to pay attention to first off we had mortgage applications uh coming in and rates <clears throat> pulled back just a little bit according to the report but what's interesting is <clears throat> application numbers continue to decline so <clears throat> we may be reaching that point in the market where housing has kind of overextended itself the pricing of housing has overextended itself and it's starting to affect uh, those um, uh, home buying uh, that home buying market so watch that closely we have international trading goods right after the market opened i don't know that the market's going to pay much attention to that we know we have massive deficit deficits there nobody seems to care about that anymore and then we have the petroleum status now that could be important for that oil sector um Oil has been struggling around a little bit. What we don't want to do, what we don't want to see is we don't want to see a surprise build in supplies. That could show that world demand is starting to shrink just a little bit due to these COVID outbreaks around the country, these hot spots all over the place, around the world, I mean, um, could be having some effects. So watch that closely. And then we've got the Mac Daddy of the day, the FOMC announcement at 2 p.m. Eastern and the Fed press conference right after that. So what we what we easily could see is we could see a lot of wild price action this morning as we build through these um, earnings reports and react to those earnings reports. And then look for the market to kind of stall and be uh, light and choppy until um, we get this Fed data uh, coming our way so don't be too surprised if we have kind of a boring day after the morning open just real choppy price action let's take a look at our earnings calendar now our earnings calendar is huge today nearly 200 companies reporting earnings uh, keep in mind guys I cannot go through um, even close to going through the um, all the reports that will be out today but um, if you want to get the full list of notables please do me a favor and click that link just below the title of the video that'll take you back to those notable reports let's take a look at a few I've already mentioned that we're going to hear from Facebook today we're also going to hear from Apple 
today um, in its earnings report. So keep um, an eye on that. We're going, going to hear from Boeing. Um, Boeing um, will be reporting, I think, this morning. It looks like we may be going just a tiny bit lower here this morning on that. We've got uh, BSX reporting today. Looks like they're gapping higher on their report. Uh, we are going to hear from Ford this afternoon. Keep an eye on that. We've got Garmin on that list today. Looks like they're moving just slightly lower this morning. We will hear from General Dynamics going higher this morning, it looks like. And then we've got some um, other really big reports that have that potential for moving us around um, our 5G um, type stocks, uh, Qualcomm will be reporting today. We'll wanna keep an eye on that. We've got Shopify that will be reporting. Looks like they're gapping higher this morning. And we've got Spotify that will be reporting. So a little bit of mixed bag here this morning, it looks like um, some moving up, some moving down. We're going, going to have to really stay on our toes um, with all of these reports and just keep in mind that anything is possible anything is possible and then <clears throat> one thing i want to also remind everyone is tonight there is a joint session of congress president will be speaking at the joint session and he is unveiling another massive spending program that he wants to get passed um, over 1.8 trillion dollars um, remarkable so um can, might want to keep an eye on that that could also have an effect on the market and where it may be having the biggest effect is when we look at some of our bonds notice bonds rallying up this morning um, 10 year treasury bonds topping 1.65 percent and our 30 year are rising as well at 2.321 percent this morning so keep an eye on those that that inflation factor is um, starting to creep back in so we'll want to keep a close eye on that let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if you could do me a quick favor if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then click that bell icon when it pops up so that you're notified every time I post one of these videos and also if you feel the video was worthy and helpful if you could please do me a favor and click that um, thumbs up button leave a brief comment it helps us to continue to grow and I just want to say thank you to everyone that does take the time to do that it, it does mean the world to me and I truly Truly, truly appreciate it. And if you guys feel um, that the video um, is worth sharing, please share it out on your social media. And once again, a major thank you to those folks who are supporting the channel through the Buy Me a Coffee program. And I just want to say uh, thank you so much. The link for Buy Me a Coffee is just below the title of the video. Click on that and um, I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these stocks of setting up. I've added a few um, stocks to, to my watch list um, yesterday. Take a look at um, gold and gold related stocks. Now, interesting this morning because bonds are moving up, we're starting to see that have a little bit of a negative effect on um, some of the gold and gold miners. But JDXJ was trying to move up earlier yesterday and I put that in here, but notice that we've broken this major downtrend. So as this rests or pulls back, if we can find some price support in this area, watch for that next opportunity in here on those miners. Take a look at Lulu. Lululemon, um, really nice looking chart, beautiful move. Notice that we've broken that downtrend. We saw a big move in retailers yesterday and um, we broke through. You saw I had my first alert here on that chart. That worked out beautifully. And now the longer this rests out here, the better Lulu gets for me um, just resting in this pattern. So keep a close eye on that. If that decides to pop on through, could be a nice upside move coming in old Lulu. You might want to take a look at Bloomin' Brands. Bloomin' Showing some nice signs here, holding on to this little slight trend, but notice we're trying to pop through this level here. If we can get some inspiration, there may be that opportunity to push on through. But I do want to point out the unfortunate circumstance that this is going to report here in a couple of days, and that or tomorrow, and that is could mess up everything. So kind of keep that in mind, and that's something we really have to pay attention to 
um, here in the next um, few days as we move along. Take a look at silver. Now silver, I actually added a little bit of silver um, today or yesterday, but um, with the um, uh, bonds moving higher, that's going to potentially have some negative effect and you can see we're pushing down here in silver this morning. So keep a close eye on that. I still think overall um, these commodities could do very, very well, but we need to watch them closely. Take a look at um, some steel stocks. Take a look at MT. MT, nice little resting pullback in here. And if this holds in on this trend watch for that next opportunity if we can bounce off of this price support in here and move on up might want to keep an eye on mt nice looking chart um, showing quite a bit of bullishness here overall um, take a look at um, um, target target continues to try to hold on to trend here now i can't tell you if this is going to move on through or fail but we want to keep a close eye on that. Uh, pretty interesting um, upside pattern, looking good overall. Um, might want to keep an eye on um, Wells Fargo. Wells has been doing really much better than a lot of the uh, financials out there. And notice that we continue to creep on up in here. So keep a close eye on that. I also want to make a mention of a couple of uh, ETFs that I think are showing lots of strength. And one of the cool things about TC2000, when I find an ETF like, like um, XLI here running up in this trend, if we just click on one icon, I can bring up a list of everything that trades in that ETF. And it's pretty easy to find some good looking stocks. And one of the charts that I have been watching closely is this Masco. Masco um, has um, lots to do with um, building, construction, infrastructure, those kind of things. So keep a close eye on that. We're popping through my alert here this morning. A little bit of a pop and drop at the moment, but keep an eye on that. Pretty nice looking chart in um, Masco. Um, I do think we also want to keep an eye on some of these old boring companies like Post. Post um, Anything food related seems to be holding up very, very strong. And notice that post has broken through a major multi-year resistance level and it's holding up here. So far, it is not broken back down. So as this rests in this area, keep a close eye. If we can hold in here, hold in toward this trend, even if we have to rest for several weeks, keep an eye on that opportunity that we could push on through to the upside. Looking pretty good there overall in post. So some of those food related stocks, commodity related stocks, um, take a look at MOO. MOO is an ag agribusiness ETF. Very, very strong here and looking good. And we can look at those charts like Tractor Supply, uh, Mosaic, uh, John Deere, Tyson, those kind of stocks making up this ETF. Um, you might want to keep an eye on that chart. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day in your trading. Thanks for watching. I truly appreciate it. And once again, Thank you to everyone who has been supporting the channel and subscribing. Um, we're seeing those numbers come up on the YouTube channel, 19,300 um, uh, subscribers now. You guys humble me every day. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and we'll see you right back here, bright and early Thursday morning. Have a good one.